Remember how Noah built a boat after God decided to flood the earth? Well, did you know that he wasn't the first to do that? Ilyan, of course we do. We have TikTok. Well, did you know that the original Mesopotamian story involved the Anunnaki? All right, let's get into it. This is the story of Utnapishtim, and it comes to us from the Epic of Gilgamesh. And we can make a video exclusively for Gilgamesh sometime if you want, but let's talk about Utnapishtim. And let me know what themes and motifs you find interesting as compared to the Bible story. Now, before I dive in, let me just talk a little bit about the Anunnaki. So broadly, the Anunnaki are the children of the god of the sky, An, and the goddess of the earth, Ki. And in the earliest Babylonian texts, these are the seven most powerful gods of the pantheon. On. And they include Enlil, Enki, Inanna, or Ishtar. But there's no complete comprehensive list as to who they are, and in different myths, their role differs. And in the story of Utnapishtim, the Anunnaki, or the gods, are divided as to what should happen to humanity. So our story begins in the ancient city of Shurubak. And what happens is that the oldest of the Anunnaki, Enlil, calls a council of the gods, and he says that he wants to flood the earth and turn the humans into clay because they are noisy. Enlil wants silence. Now not all of the gods are at this council because not all of the gods agree, including Ea and our favorite Ishtar. So Ea decides to send a warning to Utnapishtim via a dream and to advise him to build a boat. And Utnapishtim spends six days building this boat and on the seventh day the boat is finished. And apparently this boat was so big that it was really difficult to launch. Whatever I had of silver, of gold, of living beings, I laid upon her. All my family and kin I made go aboard the ship. The beasts of the field, the wild creatures, and all the craftsmen I made go aboard. And Shamash says to Utnapishtim, When he who orders unease at night will shower down a rain of blight, board thy ship and batten up the gate. And that's exactly what Utnapishtim did. And Utnapishtim is the one narrating this story in the broader epic. He's basically telling Gilgamesh about his experience. So he says, I watched the appearance of the weather and it was awesome to behold. With the first glow of dawn, a black cloud rose up from the horizon. Inside it, Adad, like Baal Haddad, the god of storm and rain, thunders while his heralds move in front, his heralds being lightning. But the Anunnaki lifted up their torches, trying to fight the flood of water with fire, because even the gods were afraid of this deluge. Utnapishtim says they cowered like dogs in the corners of their halls. And Ishtar cried out and the Anunnaki cried with her. And this goes on for six days and six nights. And on the seventh day, the storm subsided. The flood had ceased and all of mankind had turned to clay. Utnapishtim sends out a dove, a swallow, and then a raven. And when the raven doesn't come back, they know it's safe to leave the boat. And when Utnapishtim sets up a sacrifice, the gods can smell the sweet savor. So they start coming one by one to join this feast until Enlil finds out that someone survived his flood. I can follow for part two.